Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can merge the result, the values of two observables into one using the merge map operator. As always, you can find the source code starting and ending source code for this video in a link in the video description. And with that, let's get started and let's find out how merge map actually works. In the starting project, I have a little bit of code with two inputs and a combined value paragraph. But obviously nothing is happening here. Now I want to change that and I want to change it using observables. So what can I do? Well, for a start, I want to react to whenever I type something into these input fields. So I need access to them. So let's use good old JavaScript to get access using query selector. And then you can see that these inputs have some IDs. So I can use the input one ID. Let me bring this into a new line input one ID for the first input and then simply copy that for the second one to also replace it here and now get access to both inputs. Why? Because as I said, I want to react to an event here to the input event. So that would be the next step. I can create an observable and using Rx, which I already do import observable from event, I can react to events on that or on any element. So I could pass input one, this element here, and react to the input event, which is fired whenever the user types. Now doing that, what I can do is I can subscribe to that, of course, and then the first callback or the first function which I pass to subscribe, I know that I will get the event because we are using from event to construct this observable. And I can use that event data to basically simply set and the, the, uh, the value of my span here, which I also need to fetch because there I want to output my value. So span using document query selector and then the span element, set it to whatever I typed. So I could simply say span text content equals event target. That will be the input which fired the event. So where the user did type something and then target value to get the value of that input. And if we hit enter and we type something into the first input here, you see that we log it here in our combined value field. However, it's not really a combined value, of course, because the second input doesn't do anything. Now, clearly, we can also create a second observable. So let me quickly do that here. Ops 2, where I listen to the same event on the input 2. And now if I hit control enter, I can type something here and I update the span and I can type something here and I will override that value in the span because now I have two data sources, two inputs with two observables listening to the input event, which will basically change the text content of that span. That might be the behavior you're looking for, but now I want to merge both observables to get a combined value. And we can do that merge with the merge map operator. Merge map will take an outer observable and then merge an inner observable into it. And whenever the inner observable then emits a value, it will also take the value of the outer observable into account to give us a combined value. Sounds complicated. Let's see it in action. First of all, I'll remove the subscription on both observables because I don't need it. So for now, I only got two observables here and nothing else. Both observables fire on the event, but we don't subscribe to any of them. So what I want to do as a next step is I want to merge the, let's say, second observable into the first one. So I can say ops1 merge map. That's the operator I want to use. Now merge map here will receive a function as an argument. And this function, first of all, gets the value of the observable we use merge map on. So in this case, that's the value of observable one. Or since we know that this will actually be the event object, we can also name this parameter event one. But again, it will always be the value of the first observable. Now, and the function body, and I will use curly braces, I have to return another observable. So let's return observable two. Now that alone won't do the trick because I want to combine the values of the second and the first observable. So what I can do is I can call the normal map operator 
on observable map, uh, on observable two. And here I know I get the event object of the second observable. Since we also use from event here, we know it will be a, in an event object. So now here in the map operator on the second observable, I can combine event one target value and let's say a white space plus event two target value. Why can I do that? Let me bring this into a new line to make it a bit easier to read. Why can I return event one target value plus some white space plus event two target value? Well, keep in mind, we're still in this function we passed to merge map. So we're still in this function here. And in there, we have to return an observable. We could just return observable two, but that wouldn't really do the trick. Because what we want to return in the end is a combined observable, which combines the values of two observables. Therefore, we then call the map operator on observable two, which makes sure that we actually transform the value we get back. So since we now have access to both the values of the first and the second observable, it's easy for us to simply combine them. And in the end, what we return is this combined observable. So now all that's left to do for us is to now call subscribe on this merge map or after this merge map operator. And we know that inside of subscribe, we get a combined value and now we can reach out to our span, set the text content equal to that combined value and hit control enter to load our app. And now if I type something here, you see nothing happens. But if I type something in a second field, we get the combined value. Now, why does nothing happen if I type in the first field? Because that is how merge map works. The inner observable, this one here, has to emit in value for the whole observable to update and to emit in value. And that is exactly what's happening here. As soon as we type something in a second field, which is our second observable in this case, we emit a value on the combined observable. So that is how you may use merge map and it can become handy if you have multiple data sources and you want to merge them into one where one of the data sources is the one, well, basically telling you when the event emission happens, like here, the inner observable.